anyway, so I get home. I'm going to find a trachea that I just got a couple days ago. Uh, or actually, yesterday. I was pretty much deflated right now. And I'm wondering what's been going on. And as you can see, butterfly, or the copper band butterfly has been eyeballing it. I'm watching them off and on all day. Um, through a security cam, he's just been nipping at it. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and catch him, pull him out. He's nipped at a couple other corals. Uh, he's actually been in here quite a while. He's eradicated pretty much all of the Aptasia, the uh, feather dusters, and any uh, worms that you can actually live in the sand bed. So I think he's on the on the lookout now for uh, LPS here. Um, Another thing I did notice, and I had to do some research on it here. You guys can see those two black spots there. Um, those aren't those nice, cool holes in there. They're actually uh, either I believe it's gall crabs or trachea boring shrimp crabs, something like that. So, <clears throat> gonna have to pull this guy out, do a little bit of surgery on it, and get those things pulled from out of there. Um, then I'll probably go ahead and try to catch Mr. Butterfly over here, um, get him out of out of the tank so he can stop nipping on all the, uh, the LPS. Uh, see what we can do to get this guy back in tip-top shape. All right, so I went ahead and I caught the copper band. Got him moved over to the other tank. I'm just gonna keep an eye on him uh, if he decides on trying to eat the LPS that's in that tank, he will be going to the LFS. I've already talked to my guys there and they're willing to go ahead and uh, trade him in. Um, so what I did was I went ahead, pulled the trachea out and started doing some operation on him. Um, pulled the, the crabs that were in the skeleton uh, out and got them plucked out of there. It was actually two that I found. I actually saw four holes, so I cleaned out the other two holes that were there. Um, in a video, you'll see I took some time to clean those holes out, got them nice and nice and cleared as best as I could. Um, at the time, I did run uh, some tank water along with some, uh, the coral cleaner that I do have. It's a uh, Melifix, which uh, is like tea tree oil, so uh, nothing too harsh for it or anything like that. Um, had my daughter come in a little, uh, a couple times to try to figure out what I was doing and see if she could help out. Uh, after I cleaned it out and glad it got as much as as much cleaned out and cleared out of the holes that I could, I went ahead and filled the holes in with actually super glue. I was thinking of using like the the two part epoxy in there, but I figured, heck, let me just use the super glue for right now. Um, observe it, keep an eye on it, see how it does. Um, not sure about these about these little crabs. From what I see, they come out at night and and move around, um, or they just stay in there, boring all the way down to through the whole skeleton of the of the coral. Uh, either way it goes, it doesn't look like it's, it's a very good thing for the coral, especially if something's boring its way through the skeleton. Uh, so that's why I decided to go ahead and pull it out. I'm going to try to post some better pictures of what they actually look like versus the ones that you see in the video here that I've kind of just destroyed uh, as I was trying to take them out. So I uh, just want to give you guys a quick update on this uh, from what I found uh, in the trachea that I got. And I'll see if I can get some updated photos later on when I do some updates of how it's doing. Um, after I put it back in the tank overnight, I checked on it. Everything looked fine with it. It started to inflate again. So hopefully by this afternoon, uh, today here, uh, it should be back open completely. Thanks for watching, guys.